This month, King Charles will take his first Trooping the Colour salute as Sovereign and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. The regiment chosen to troop its colours this year are the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards, of which Charles was Regimental Colonel between 1975 and 2022. Charles broke with royal tradition when he went straight to university after completing his A-levels rather than join the armed forces. He was given RAF training whilst a university student, flying Chipmunk and then Bassett CC-1 aircraft. After his passing out ceremony at RAF Cranwell, Charles followed in his father Prince Philip's footsteps and joined the Royal Navy. He served on guided missile destroyers, became a gunnery officer and put his flying skills to good use as a helicopter pilot with the Naval Air Squadron. Despite his military career ending in 1976 at the age of 28, he continued to work closely with the armed forces. And in 2012, his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, awarded him the highest rank in all three services, Field Marshal, Admiral of the Fleet and Marshal of the Royal Air Force. It may be King Charles's first trooping the colour as head of the armed forces, but his relationship with the military is a long and close one, which it's hoped will continue for many more years.